Hello, this is Longest Days, and we're looking at uh, Georgia Tech 2017 Spring Game. I want to start off with a disclaimer that this video is not intended to point out any flaws in our players. Uh, it's intended to kind of help our fan base understand what's going on in the offense so they can be excited about what we're doing at Georgia Tech. Uh, do get questions about defense. I just don't know the defense as well as the offense, and so that's the reason why I choose to do offensive uh, breakdowns. Uh, I do greatly care about our defensive players and what goes on there. And there are some uh, people on YouTube who do a great job of breaking down uh, Georgia Tech's defense. All right, we're going to go ahead and get started right here and let you see this first play all the way through. Good job right there of Diedrich Mills of trying to get some plays after really running to a wall of people right here. So... <laughs> Real quick, on the defense, what we're looking at is you get the four defensive linemen, and you really have four linebackers right here. Um, if this was going to be an option, you know, would it be this guy and this guy that you would option off, or this guy and this guy? It's really, it's really hard to tell um, which guys are going to be the guys who, who are going to be optioned off. In this case, it could be a called die, but we'll look real quick. Um, normally, especially when the A-back blocks in like this, I would say it's going to be a called dive. Um, you can see right here that this A-back is going to take that linebacker right there. A um, couple of things that makes me wonder if it's called dive. If you look right here, the quarterback's eyes is definitely looking down the line right here. Um, if it wasn't a called dive and it was a, truly an option, it would be a misgive because both of these guys are crashing down. Um, right here. So that would be a misgive if it was um, not a call dive. We're going to go ahead and assume it is a call dive. We'll look at the blocking right here uh, see what we see. Um, everybody getting through right here. The center is supposed to come out and take one of the linebackers out. He gets out. He's taking his linebacker out. That's good right here. The the This guy right here is blocking in. in. So the path is really right through here. And basically what happens is we end up running into a wall of people versus the path. But we bounce off real well. We give it another go. And end up making a couple yards. All right, we're going to keep on going. Next play, we'll let you watch it all the way through. Right here. We do a lot of counter option or counter traps that go on. In this game, lots of counters. So this is, is a, truly a counter option. You do kind of spin in, in, that, in that direction right here to kind of get the, the defense a, an idea that might be going in this direction if they're keying off the quarterback. So we'll, we'll walk through it here, see where, see where everybody's lined up. You got your, what I'd say were your linebackers, if you want to say that. This linebacker stepped up a little bit. And we'll see what happens. Do we do we get them on the line? We do right here. Marshall is doing a great job for us right there. Blocks that guy. Will's going to come out and try to steal his guy right here. So that's good. Um, Marshall is doing a great job. He ends up taking both of these two guys out at the same time. Both of these guys right here. Your B-back is going to turn up right here. So you get your B-back coming out. You got your A-back coming out to block. This is going to be your pitch man right here. Um, a back's going to head for this guy. Your uh, B back should head for this guy. I think he just he doesn't quite see him right there and isn't able to come back and get him. Here's your pitch man. It's kind of hard to see, but you look at his shoulders right here. His shoulders are faced to the uh, A back. So this is definitely a keep right here. Uh, with a block on this guy right here. Um, could have went for more, for, for more yards. Uh, you could try to charge this guy, get him to commit his shoulders to you so that you can pitch it. But he's on the outside of the, the quarterback. So if you're screaming, pitch the ball, pitch the ball, this is not a pitch. It doesn't look like a pitch to me. All right. Some great yards. Go ahead and see the next play. All right. Little rocket toss to Nathan Cottrell. 
he runs with some serious momentum. I really liked, like how he runs. Looks good. So let's look at the blocking here. We'll go ahead and start it off. And you get to see some of the blocking. Right here, you're going to see the tackle come in, block in. You're going to see the guard go out. The guard does a great job right there. Comes out. And the blocking right here. Doing a great job. Brad Stewart is doing, doing some terrific blocking. You can see him right here. Come in and take this guy out. Great job. And he doesn't hurt his own player because he could really just smash this guy. And he does a great job of not hurting our own player. I'm sure he pre appreciates that. We'll see Parker gets his guy. He does take him down right there. So a good takedown by Parker Braun. Let's see what happens here. We got Quay Cersei. Going to come out. Going to take his guy down. And right here we just got a guy come, coming from... From the safety position, who's running in, doing a great job of getting there. He's just able to get this, just barely got to, got a hand on his leg. Trips him up. Finally gets him down. But look at, look at, look at this pitch here. The pitch is just a little bit late. Slows him down. He has to slow down and come back for it. Great job getting, getting the pitch. So he's a little slow right there. But then watch the acceleration. Man, he just accelerates, does a good job getting the yards, even with the delay on the pitch. Really excited to see what he can do for us, do for the team. All right, let you see the play all the way through. Very similar say, setup that we've seen uh, the last couple of times. Looks like there's some sort of check. And it's just going to be that pass. It's not really much to see on the pass. We'll go back and look at any of the blocking. Nothing in particular that we can see. Uh, the cornerback uh, is pretty far off. He takes a step back, but just one step, and he charges forward. Good job by the receiver. I'm trying to make that first miss so he can make about, ah, about five yards. Does a good job. All right, next play, normal setup, nothing really to comment on any of the lineup, so we'll go ahead and just watch it out. Great job by Diedrich Mills there. Let's go ahead and look at this, see what's going on. Um, so in this game, uh, there's a lot of counters, counters and then the counter trap. So the counter option, be like this, this guy's going to start heading this direction. The QB turns in that direction. So it looks like it's going to be a triple option in this direction right here. But it's going to end up going in the opposite direction if it's a counter. And if it's a counter also, the dive goes in this direction. Now in this case, a counter dive is called. So there's no reading going on. The quarterback isn't reading the defense unless it's something when he steps up at the line and sees how, how they're in alignment. And so he just turns and he gives it to the uh, be back. The other thing that happens is a counter, you're gonna see this guard, he's gonna pull down the line. Pulls down the line, and his job is to take the de defensive end out. So sometimes the defensive end is pinching in because he's getting ready for a, um, uh, a triple option. And then sometimes he's running straight into the backfield. So this guard has to be able to, you know, Know where he's at, seal him off. That's what he's trying to do. He's trying to seal him off. He gets an arm on him right there. Diedrich has the ball. Let's see if we can see anything else going on. Another great thing that's going to make this work out real well is we got this linebacker stepping up into the gap. Great job right there by our by Parker right there. He's going to get in there and get him. You have uh, um, Lee right here. Coming in, getting his guy. So everybody's everybody's trapped on the inside. So that leaves enough room right here. And we get an arm on Diedrich, but that's not enough to take him down. We also have Nate Contrell right there running some interference right here. Now we we have him right here, but it's just not enough to take Diedrich. He's getting his legs. He's got great low center of gravity. He's able to stay on his feet. Got Nate right here still still running some interference. 
this is kind of what gets Brad right here. Looks like Nate kind of falls right on his leg right there. That kind of takes Brad out of the spring game. Great run by Diedrich. I hope Brad gets better. Let's see what happens here. Normal setup. I don't see anything unusual from the last couple of plays. We'll go ahead and let you, let you see this play through. Looks like there's a triple option. So, triple option. And you remember what I said before. Normally, you'll see later on in this game that the A-back will go out this way to block. And this one, he goes, he goes in to block. You see right here? He's going for that linebacker. And so that's what makes me wonder if that first play was a called dive or not. Because of one, where he's looking, and two, what this A-back is doing. Now if you look, look what happens here. This guy goes right by him. Right by him. And he's going after that linebacker. So that's, this guy is unblocked. This guy gets blocked by the A-back. So that's going to leave this guy and this guy as your as your reads. So we'll, we'll read this guy first. So we'll look at him first. He's looking at him. He's coming in. He's taking the B back. So we pull it from the B back. Pulled. Great job. So everybody's blocked exactly the way you want it. Now this wide receiver normally goes for this guy right here. But he's not. I'm not sure why. Why he didn't go for him. He's going back here on the back side right here. Here's your, your read guy. Look where the read shoulders are. The read shoulders are pointed towards the A-back. He has also split the difference between the two. So you got a choice. You can cut through. I, I don't know what Paul teaches, but right here, you can try to force him to turn the shoulders to you and then pitch it. Or in this case, given he's just going to try to take, take the inside lane right here. If this guy was blocked right here, it might have worked out better if the receiver had blocked this guy versus the backside safety. We end up making a, a few yards out of that, but you can see if you're saying, pitch it, pitch it. <laughs> if you look on TV, the thing is, if you were look behind, this guy is definitely on that side of the quarterback. And his shoulders are pointed towards the A back. He's not supposed to pitch it. All right. No motion. All right, so what's going on here? So a little different, a little different setup. You got this motioning A back right here, comes back, and everything's supposed to go in this direction. Um, so looks like the QB's reading, and you got these two guys right here, and we have a cross charge going on. This linebacker's coming in, of course, Remember what they said last time, this guy and this guy were the were the, were the two read guys. So I'm not really certain with this setup. We'll go ahead and watch. This guy is untouched. Was he supposed to be touched? Did James L. Lee just, just kind of miss him right there? And he and he and he takes this guy and we, we give the ball to him anyways. You know, I, I'm I'm not sure that this would have been a give either way because this guy is also taking the inside. So if these were the two pitch guys, I would say this was a keep and probably a quick pitch out right here. This guy was going to be blocked. If you look right here, he's definitely going out to block this guy. I don't know if they had different you know, blocking schemes depending on what alignment they were in, but in this particular blocking scheme, it looks like these were your two these were your two reads right here. It was just a misread. So if you come back and I think they try it again. Let's, let's, go, let's go look at the next play. And I think they do something very similar. Right there. Nowhere to go. So a little same play, a little different setup here. These two guys are coming in. He comes in untouched. And you can see he doesn't even finish the fake, um, you know, or, or the full mesh right there. And Diedrich does a good job, comes in, smashes the linebacker, takes him down. 
This time though, this guy right here takes an outside track. So it looks like he's going to take the, the A back and force the, the QB to take the inside path, and he does. And he ends up being no room to run. So if you look right here, our center doesn't quite make his block right there. Um, doesn't look like, looks like Lee is going to the outside, but really he needs to be going after this guy right here. And that's the guy who, who forces it back inside. If you, if you either make this block or you make this block right here, I think there might be a little bit more room to kind of shoot out this way. All right. Forces a field goal. So not a lot of chances to pitch. Um, you can tell we're still working out some kinks. We're going to go ahead and look at the yellow team real quick. Um, a little counter dive right here. And he, and he gets caught by the backside right here. What happens is we just we miss cutting this guy right here. Right there. We miss miss cutting him. Just not able to get him. The guard's got to pull. The guard's supposed to pull and seal off this guy on the end. So he does that. Just this guy from the backside right here isn't able to get cut right there. Next play is pretty interesting. You want to want to watch this one. We'll go ahead and play it most of the way through. Let you see it. So it's a touchdown. So we're not going to go all the way to the touchdown, but we'll go ahead and why did this play look? So again, this is a little like speed option with the A back right here. Any or court, I guess you can call it a speed a power speed option. This makes it a power right here. This guy is going to um, come out and he's going to be a, a lead blocker. So you're going to run out. We'll look at we'll look at the blocking right here. Great blocking on the inside. Great blocking here. Takes that guy out. See this right here. I think that's Brad. Um, great blocking right there by your B back. This is going to be your would have been your pitch guy if he would have came in a little sooner. But you can see his shoulders. Shoulders are turned out. He's outside of the quarterback, so the quarterback's going to run. And is just able to beat everybody to the outside. If you want to see where the, everybody on the inside is coming, you have a backside linebacker right here. You have another backside. I guess you'd call him a, you know, a linebacker if you want to call four of these guys a linebacker. And you can see them right there. They're just not able to, to get over in time. And I do believe, is this the guy who gets hurt right here? I'm not quite certain. We do have an injury on that particular play. All right. We're going to keep on going. See more of the first uh, offense here. We'll let you see the play th through. Okay, so this is QB follows. I, I really don't believe this is a, a true midline. Midline would have a, an unblocked uh, tackle right here, defensive uh, tackle coming through. And you can see I, I, it looks like we're truly trying to engage them. We could be trying to go, go past them, but I don't quite see that. Um, we do get a little tripped up right here. I'm not sure why. Something catches his feet. Um, you can see this A-back is going to come in. We got good block, good block. A back comes in, does his block. The B back kind of runs into our own guy, which actually turns this guy loose. We're tripped up. We're a little late to get through the hole, and the hole is closed. I would say our defense looks ready for this. Seems like they see what's going on. They diagnose it real quick, and they're all coming basically to close the door. Do believe we to try to go back in the other direction. Same thing, not even a true give. So I know it's just a follow. It's 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 not a midline. So you can see right here, we do this little fake give. There's not a true mesh, which I true mesh really should do. True meshes really will pull people in. Probably fool them a little bit more. He's not as tripped right here. 
It's not as clogged. Parker's doing a great job right there. Jensen Lee is pushing his guy out. We have two guys coming in and two guys to block. Problem is both guys go for the same guy and basically turns him back inside, which causes him to get tackled. Now if one guy takes this guy right here, one guy takes that guy, you end up getting some room to kind of come this direction. All right. I do believe the next one is a pass. Let's see. Just a pass. Better throw it. Just a wee bit outside. Let's see how our blocking does. Looks like you're going to have a blitzing linebacker right here who times the blitz pretty well. You can see right here, maybe a little bit of, a bit of, a little bit of a false start, but this is you know looking at each individual frame. I think he does a good job of sealing that guy off. Pretty good right there. A back trying to take his guy out, and give him enough time. The B back taking care of his guy. Guy from the back side. Let's see what's going on. Will's taking on his guy. He got another guy in there as well, and he comes on the outside. All right. So the QB follows didn't work out so well. Let's go ahead and get through this gold team offense. You should see the play all the way through. Great little run. You can see right here, this guy goes inside, this guy goes outside. Little speed option, power speed option. Right here, good block. Next good block, Quaid. Um, you know, he doesn't actually take his guy to the ground. This guy does a great job with his hands, but he definitely stops and slows him down. He, he gets him down to all fours, too. Uh, great job. Uh, who would be the pitch man in this case? You know, I'm wondering if the pitch man gets blocked or just not enough people on the side. Everybody's getting blocked, I think. We'll see what happens right here. Looks like this guy goes to the ground, at least to all fours, before he gets back up. All right, keep on going. Little counter option right here. Counter option. Going to go in this direction, counter option. You want to look at this guard. He's going to pull out, and he should be going after this guy, and he does. Good job right there. Um, I think this guy is supposed to be your pitch man right here, but if you look, we decide to turn it up versus taking this guy head on. You take this guy head on, pitch it out, go to the races. We decide to go ahead and turn it up early, make a couple yards. Let you see the next play all the way through. Here's a counter option. Be back give right there. Quaid does a good job. Let's see what happens again. So we get this counter option move where you're opening up the wrong direction. So it makes it look like it's going in this direction. Um, and instead of keeping the ball and heading in this direction, you give it to the be back. Got this pooling guard. Guard pulls. Seals off his guy. You go off his hip. Great job right here. This guy is taking out two guys. Quaid does a good job of changing direction, getting downfield, making the yards. All right. Let you see this play through. Little rocket toss. See what happens here. Got to seal this guy right here. Good job. Got your shoulder by him. That's going to slow him down. Rocket toss is right there. Then you got this guy right here. Going to take this guy. Try to take him down. Doesn't quite get to him. You got what Brad taking on a second guy. Slowing him down. Let him make a couple of yards. All right, go to 
throw a little quick little pass. Great hit. Just a quick pass. Look at the little check here at the line. Little speed power option right here. Not quite able to get him where he needs to go. When we get a hat on him, we're not taking him in the right direction. Get a hat on him, and there's too many people coming through. I'm not sure. I do believe that's supposed to be your pitch man. I think this guy is supposed to be blocked by the A-back. I could be wrong, but if that was your pitch man, you would go out, you'd pitch off of him, and go to the outside. And I think what happens, we kind of we kind of miss this guy right here on the edge. Ends up changing the whole play. Calls it a sack. Another pass play. See if everybody gets picked up. Everybody looks picked up. Quaid taking his guy down. I guess no one is open. This guy is still running down field right here. Look him. Looks like he's leaking out here. No one there. Takes off. Needs to go ahead and try to throw it out. out of, <laughs> throw it away. Getting near the first half here. We're going to try to get this whole, whole half in here. All right. Nothing really to talk about. Little lineup. Go ahead. Another counter option dive. Great job by Cavante Benson right here. Woo! Looks great. Now, hated to lose Marcus Marshall. Um, Cavante Benson it basically opened the door for him. We'll look at uh, what happens here. So it's a counter option this way. It's supposed to look like the AB's motioning this way. Got the quarterback opening up this way. It looks like it's going to be an option in this direction. But instead... You, you, instead of going this direction, it's going to go. It's going to be a dive in this direction. We can see you've got your pulling guard right here. He's going to pull. Does a great job taking this guy out. Bam! Great job, partner. You can see Marshall here taking his guy out. Man, he's good. Two guys going after two guys makes a big impact on this play right there. Um, who else? The center right here. You got Will. Doing his job. Everybody does. Will does a great job right there, too. Watch him. Take that guy down. You got Parker kicking him out. You got Marshall making room. Makes a nice little alleyway right there for Cavante to run. Everybody downfield doing their job. Great yards. Great looking play. Everybody's doing their job. Everything works out great. All right. Let you see this play all the way through. Another counter option. Instead of the counter option dive, we'll see what goes on there. It's a little difficult right here. What ends up happening? Got this blitz in the linebacker, picking him up. Great, great pickup right here. Gonna have a pulling guard right here who's pulling. The only difference this guy is coming hard after the quarterback. And instead of staying close and going for the B back, see, he doesn't go for the B back, he's going for the quarterback. Makes it a lot more difficult for this pulling guard. But the pulling guard gets a good hat on him, slows him down, but that ends up kind of changing the play because this is the, the pitch man right here. You're supposed to go at him and choose to pitch or keep based on what this guy is doing. Turns him up inside, so he's going to go ahead and keep the ball. Applies the gas, gets around some players there. Great little move. Great block right here. Look at this. This is unselfishness right here. You know, he's not waiting for the pitch. He's just going to go ahead and look for a place to block. Great block. Great great extra five yards from that block, too. Good job. Great job. All right. Let you see this play all the way through. Another counter right there. Dive. So... So the counter option, it becomes a counter dive right there. So it gives it right here. You're going to watch pulling guard right there. 
Gonna watch right here, gonna take these guys to the inside. Great job. This guy's gonna kick to the outside. Great job. Mana is just a tiny hole right here. Cavante does a great job of accelerating through a hole right there just to pick up the yards he did get. Doesn't go down on first contact. Gives up a little bit of yards to try to keep his legs. Turns forward. All right. Nothing really to talk about here. We're missing, uh, I guess we moved this linebacker on this side. I mean, I'm sorry, we moved this A back on this side, which just kind of shifted people a little bit. Go ahead and we'll watch his play. Little speed option right there. Uh, okay, so everybody's, where's the pitches? Where's the pitches? Let's see if he should have pitched this. Little speed option. This guy's supposed to seal off the defensive end. Does a good job. This guy is, I guess, is supposed to be the option guy. But instead of optioning, he's he's chasing after this A back. Right there. And um, let's see what else happens. There's really no one there to tell him to pitch. Um, you know, maybe you could pitch it right there. But you know, once you cross the line of scrimmage, most of the times these guys keep it. They don't. They don't look to the pitch, and I would say cross the line of scrimmage. Will there coming out? I think Brad Morgan coming in for Will. It's about to be a field goal. Let's see if we can get through this quarter here. All right, so gold teams up. Go ahead and let you see this through. A little counter. There's not much to see there. So counter dive. So counter this way. Right here, what happens? We're not able to contain. What is Adams right there? He ends up taking out our pulling guard who's supposed to pull. He's supposed to be down here. But he ends up hitting, hitting our guy right there. We're just not able to, to get a good hat on him right there. He ends up blowing up the whole play. Man, hoping he can do that in some some big games this year. Be incredible. The rocket toss right there. So we'll look at the blocking right here. Going on the inside. Going on to the outside. Gets the outside hat on him. Slows him down. Don't have to be a perfect block. Good, good move with the defensive hands right there to try to defeat that block. Stays on his feet, but it's too late. This guy's already on the outside. Right here, we got a block going on. Good. Right here, we slow down. Trying to cut to the inside, trying to get a little bit more. Ends up making about what he would have made if he would have went forward. Going to try to try to get to the outside right here. Ends up making some reasonable yards. All right, here we go again. Another little rocket toss. Yep, this time, this time, we're not able to get our hat on the outside of this guy. You, you got to get your hat on the outside of this guy. If you don't, it's over right here. That's why it's over. Good job of trying to get a couple yards right there. But that's where it broke down. You got to get your hat, hat on the outside of that guy. All right, let's get the white team back up. Go ahead and let you see this play. A little rocket toss. Quay Cersei. All right, let's see what Quay is doing. How we're blocking. Good block here. Got to get your hat on the outside of this guy. This guy goes to the inside, so that's fine. If this guy goes to the inside, you, you become an extra blocker. So perfect. As long as you get your hat on the outside of that guy. Nate Cottrell does a great job. This is a hard block. He's going after this guy. Times it perfectly, pushes him out right there. He can't make the block or the tackle. Now right here, you have Quay Cersei trying to put a couple of steps on this guy, makes a decision, ends up being tackled. But after three yards, see the next play? Great run. 
So what's going on here? What kind of play is this? Little counter option. That's what it is. So the counter option dive, he would turn and give it to the B back right here. Now he's not reading anything. That'd be a called play. Counter option dive. And then he would follow this pulling guard. You see this pulling guard right here? It's going to pull down. Pulls down. Gets a hold of his guy. And right there, that would be the B back. If you would have gave him the ball, he would have went right, right through there. Hit that guy. But it's a counter option. So you can see these guys are coming in. You want to try to suck these guys in on a, on a, on a dive. If they're going to the outside hard, you give, you give it to the, you start calling a dive, counter option dive play. If they're sucking them in, do the counter option play. So you're going to keep the ball right here. You got your block that you need to get right here. You're getting a great block right there. Even though he doesn't have the ball, uh, Carvante Benson is doing what he needs to do. He's making the block. Excellent right there. And Ali right here, going to make his block. Takes his guy to the ground. Look at that. Got an A back going to come out. Try to make his block. Pitch guy. So should he pitch it? Where's his shoulders? Where is he at? He's on the outside of the QB, and his shoulders are facing the A back. The QB should keep it, which is perfect. It's exactly what he's supposed to do. Great run. All right. Yeah, you know, I haven't seen a whole lot of, oh, man, they should have pitched that. <laughs> I think at the end of this quarter, I think you see some of that. Let's see. You, you'd think they'd want to force the pitch. You know, run run some plays where, hey, you, you force the pitch. Get the QBs used to pitching it. Go ahead and let you see this play through. Here's another counter dive play is what it looks like. We'll make sure. Counter right here. So it looks like it's going to go in this direction, but it's actually going to go back this way. We got this pulling guard right here. It's going to pull. Takes this guy right here. Perfect. This guy is supposed to be too far on the outside. We're trying to get a hat on this guy right here. Marshall's doing his best job to get it to him. Looks like the a back's going to get the safety right there. But we just don't aren't able to close that guy off enough. We make what? Three yards. Go ahead and see the next play. Just a, you know, I can't say what this is. Let me, let me look at it again right here. We'll look. This guy is oh, not being touched. This, this guy right here is going for the B-back. So B-back's taken. I would say right here, this is a pitch. So I would say this is definitely a pitch right here. Probably would have had your block. Change the angle of where this guy is going. You and Nathan Contra would have been off to the races right here with a pitch. Got the ball. Gold team here. We'll look at them real quick. Straight up dive. Yep, straight up dive. Straight up dive. This guy usually goes, in, you know, instead of going outside, he goes kind of inside right there. You can see him go in. It's just a straight up dive. Now, this is a play going in the wrong direction. Uh, you know, one, I, this quarterback here really has probably the best footwork out of all the quarterbacks. I think he has a lot more time in it. But you can see right here, that's the wrong direction. I don't know if he called the play the direction and they heard this direction or vice versa, but everybody else is, is, is going this direction right here. And it looks like it's just a triple option in this direction. False start. I do believe. Let's see what happens. Yeah, false start right here. Probably would have been a good play. Pass play right here. This is a guy gets through right here. One thing is we step forward instead of giving up ground, and that allows him to get right on through. 
Another hold penalty, decline, give it back to the white team. Right here. Looks like just going to be a pass play. Breaks down, scrambles forward. Nothing really to show you on that particular play. See right here. You see the play out. Little speed option right there with the with a B back. Um, I do believe what happens here. Yeah, I'm, I'm right. Okay, so he's trying to get to this linebacker right here. So this guy is definitely pinching hard on this guy, impeding his progress right there. He's just not able to get to that linebacker. Linebacker Mitchell's doing a great job. Speeds in, gets to the right guy. There's a lot of guys missed here. If you can look right here. Looks like the wide receiver missed his guy. This is the option guy. Would have been perfect if just had this one guy here. But two guys unblocked means no gain. In fact, a little loss. Pass play. What a great move by the defense right here. You can see right here. He pushes him over. Raises his arm right there, swims by him, gets by him right there, causes pressure on the quarterback. And you also have Mitchell there coming in. We, he does a great job of missing that cut block right there. He's right there to finish him off. Oof. Hope he's okay. Massive hit. All right, there is a passing downs we want to get to on white team. Just give us a few more minutes. Pass right there, intercepted. Now, actually, you know, this is one of the most beautiful passes that we've seen all night. Nice, pretty spiral. It was right where he wants it to go, just to the wrong person. A little worried about pass protection this year. We'll see. Let's see what we can see here. Nothing really to see here. No counter speed option. And he wants to. He wants to pitch it there. Definitely wants to pitch it. Let's see what 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 breaks down here. So a little counter option. You got a pulling guard right there. You're supposed to pull and get that tight end. This tight end just won't let go of James L. Lee. In fact, I think he gets yelled at because of this. Um, just won't let him go. So James L. says, look, if you're not going to let me get to who I want to block, I'm going to block you. And you can see right here what ends up happening. He ends up blocking this guy. So this guy is the guy who's unblocked. It ends up coming in to force the play early. These two guys are so close together, you might have played both of these guys. This guy has definitely got them right here. So this is a pitch. Go ahead and get rid of it right here. Pitch. If you pitched it right here, these guys are on you, these two guys right here, well, we, we miss a block right here, so I'm not sure what's going to happen if, if you didn't pitch it. If you go ahead and pitch it. Could have gotten a couple yards out of it. So that's two missed pitches. All right. Just a breakdown play. Um, you can see what it is. Supposed to be a speed option in this direction. He runs real shallow. I guess he he sees daylight and he's just going to try to take it. And daylight goes away. Mitchell's doing it, so he tries to go back the other direction. He just tries to make something for nothing. So I would say it's not really playing in the system. Should be out here. This guy right here, where you would have pitched it. This has been perfect. This guy hopefully will be on the inside or blocked. Yeah. Run the right track. All right. No pass play right there. Misses it. Gold team up, let you see the play. So a little QB run right there, nothing really to see. 
I'm, I'm assuming it was designed for him just to run forward. Doesn't get back to the line of scrimmage, I don't think. Just barely. Next play. Little pass play. Gets batted down. Great job. Defensive guy getting his hands up. Next play, 3 and 11. A little speed option right here with the A back. We're going to call it a speed power option. Got to be back blocking for you. That's the pitch man. Should have pitched. He tries to pitch. Just waits too long. Right there's the pitch. And then you go to, to the races right there. Ends up fumbling the ball, but he captures it back. Pitch. Tries just a little too late, gets a little too close. All right, here's the last series right here. Oh, man, takes a sack. Second and 19. Makes a decent throw. No, it's actually a run. We'll look to see what happens here. What goes on? So a little speed option right there. We'll see the blocking. I think this guy blocks on the inside good. Guy blocks on the outside reasonably well. Takes this guy to the ground. This guy's going to the outside. He would be your pitch guy. Since he's the outside, he wasn't supposed to pitch anyways. Got a great block going on right here. Man, go go to it, Diedrich. Great block, some great running. Runs through a tackle. It's AJ. Still makes about seven yards. Great run. First and ten. A little pass play. Just a little bit outside right there. Guy was open. Just not quite on target. Seems he got Janzel right there. What was Janzel doing? What happened here? I guess he, he took this guy and this guy comes through free. He's taking the wrong guy. All right. Passing play right there. Good job. A little quick pass. Another pass. Got a little time. Quay is open. Another pass. See right here, we miss this guy. We do end up making a miss on him. This guy's getting through right here. He's got good violent hands. He's working well with his hands right there. Push, pushes the guy out of the way and tries to get to the quarterback. Good rush. This is the guy who's open. Pretty sure. Next play. Third and five. Option with a pitch. There's our first pitch of the game. Ends up making the first down, but man, takes a hit. In fact, you can watch it. it goes over here. And, yeah. Oof. Takes a good hit. Knocks, knocks, knocks the breath out of him. What worked out good on this play? Right there. Little counter. This, this direction. Counter speed option. Let's see here. Parker takes this guy right here. Here's the pitch guy. Pitch guy's coming in. Causes a pitch. Great job. I think we end up getting a penalty out of that. First and ten. Counter dive. Really weird looking counter dive. A really odd one. 
just the way they're set up on, on this. You know, normally this guy's pulling downfield, but you can see something different happens right here. Takes this guy right here. Let's see, pick up the blitz. Marshall does a great job. Picks up his blitz right there. Diedrich comes through, gets hit. Who ends up hitting him? It's actually this guy right here. Sinner's not quite able to keep him out of the play. Everybody else is doing a good job. Second and eight. Was here at the end of the quarter here. That guy steps up in the line pretty early. This is plenty of time to try to stop him. Does a great job stopping him. Right there. A little pass play. Makes the first and goal. Second goal, missed it. They spike it, stop the clock. Second goal. Right here, he sees this guy right here out of the corner of his eye, goes ahead and puts it out probably a little sooner than he wanted to do. Kind of threw it away. Um, this guy right here was open, I do believe. Yeah, he was open right here. Who, uh, you know, I do believe right here, this is somebody, could have been him. Somebody was supposed to take him up. No one picks him up. Let's see who gets yelled at. I'm not sure who we're supposed to pick him up. And then pass play. This is going to be open. Would have been touchdown. Just not able to stop him right here. Right here, you got the blitzing linebacker. Jane's at least supposed to take him. Doesn't quite get it, get a good grip on that guy right there. And he puts pressure on him because this is going to be a touchdown right there. Third and goal. Fourth and goal. Got to kick a field goal, and that's it for the first half. Um, so, first half, what did we see? Uh, saw two missed pitches. The other ones were not pitches. I, I do believe that um, people were, you know, basically forcing the quarterback to keep the ball and to push him to the inside. I saw some good pulling, some good pull blocking, getting your helmets around on the outside of people. The rocket toss is there. Saw a whole lot of counter and counter um, options. So a counter dive and a counter options going on. Um, you know, saw a lot of rocket tosses. Didn't see a lot of counters based on the rocket toss. Counter dives based on the rocket toss. Um, not a whole lot of triple option. Uh, option. Did see a couple of QB follows. Um, not much to talk about there. Again, in the spring game, uh, they're really not doing what we do uh, against our competitors. We're 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 running certain things to create a tendency, and once we create a tendency, we switch to a a different thing. So whether it's, you know, we're doing the rocket tosses and then we do the uh, rocket toss counter dive or we're doing a lot of triple options and then you do the counter um, option to, you know, try to take advantage of people, you know, running to, uh, to, the, to the option side. Uh, the spring game is more about trying to see uh, what kind of players we have, trying to get to all the many different plays we have in. In this case, uh, you know, we have a lot of people who, this is their first spring game, a lot of quarterbacks, I should say, first spring game. So reading the triple option may be something that will come better with time. Um, do, do think that Math, I, I do think Matthew Jordan probably has a little bit better footwork in the triple, triple option, looking back on what, you know, when he played Virginia Tech. Um, Taekwon Marshall, he does have a... a you know, uh, brings a lot to the game himself. Excited to see how he's progressed. And the two young, young quarterbacks, too, uh, was it Jay Jones and, and Lucas? Uh, they, they have promise, too, so I definitely see what, what Coach is saying, that our quarterbacks, you know, have some depth there. I would say that Jay and, and Lucas need uh, more time getting their footwork down. You know, I think, um, what is it? Uh, um, I forget his name, but 
We also have another quarterback who, who's non-scholarship player whose footwork is excellent. So just give them some time. They'll get that footwork down. Uh, I do believe this is their first spring game for both of them. So, you know, I'm sure in the fall they might have been introduced to the to you know a lot of the the plays, but then quickly probably went to a scout team to kind of help scout out our component uh, opponents. Um, so this is really their first first time being steeped into uh, to the offense. Uh, offensive line has a, a lot of good things there. Uh, you know we need a uh, need to you know get some our depth back. Uh, you know, Shamir, get him healthy. It seemed like he was walking around during the game. Um, really excited about Brad and Scott Morgan, hoping they can continue to uh, progress. And then we have uh, James L. Lee, who, uh, you know, doesn't always hit the right guy, but hits somebody. <laughs> so he does a great job with that. Parker Braun, exciting. Andrew Marshall, steady, solid. Kenny Cooper looks like he's going to be good. Um, looks like, you know, we have a chance to have a good offensive line. Um Definitely, definitely got a chance with those guys. Of course, all of our, our B-backs, I'm really excited about Diedrich Mills. Cavante Benson is doing an excellent job. He, uh, you know, Mar uh, I really hate to see Marcus Marshall go, but Cavante Benson, uh, you know, the door's been open, and, and he's walked right through it. I'm really excited to see what he was able to bring to the spring game as well. And he was able to make some blocks, so blocking is good. Uh, definitely need someone bought in that, you know, not only when you get the ball, you get the run, but when you don't get the ball, then you block for your teammates. And Cervante looks like he's, he's bought into that. Um, Quaid looked good as well. Quaid uh, was finding some, some tight spaces to run in, did a great job. And so our B-back depth looks good. And all of our A-backs and, uh, you know, J.J. Green and, and Quay and Quentin, Clinton Lynch and, you know, seeing Nathan Cottrell out there. Uh, was good as well, so good to see him um, out there practicing. We you know we, we we definitely have some some weapons out there to use. Didn't get to see a lot of Brad Stewart or Ricky June. Uh, really, the, those are some of our, our bless, best blockers. Well, we had Jalen Camp out there who did a good job. I didn't recognize or you know with the with the white overshirts as we graduated people as we had some injuries in the spring game. I didn't get to see them all. Um, you didn't get to really see them all block. Well, um, I'll probably do the second half at some point in time. We'll give it some time, but this one is really getting long. So I'm going to go ahead and close it, and uh, I'll see you all next time.